Today is crazy good, so I haven't been posting for real, and I just got up and my energy levels were crazy. First, we was reading out the book. I was literally reading on the story out of my favorite book, Motivation Manifesto, I'll be telling y'all about. And then I had energy and I started just shaking ass to ice face, like, and I, I had somebody tip, at the same time somebody else tipped, both spoiling. And I had thanked both of them individually, and then somebody else came back and they're like, from the way you just made my day, you deserve another, and then sent another. And it's crazy because I was walking around with ten dollars in my name earlier, chilling. Like I be chilling. I don't be, you know, I, like I said, I don't be asking for help. If it, it is what it is for me, so I just wasn't stressing it. And once I got, once I got my little treat, once I got my little chimney cake, I was good. That was the day. I was so grateful for that little chimney cake. And I was able to send my dad some bread for his birthday. I meant to send a gift card, but I fell asleep. It was too late. So and I was sitting there. I, I didn't have the means, and I was like, you know what? I did. They're on the way. Like your girl's working and getting paid. I was like, mm. and then something came in real quick and I sent it straight to him. I was like, happy birthday. Felt really good. I had enough to eat. But I was chilling. Like, to go from $10, starting your day with 10 bucks, waiting for your deposit to hit, to just, I didn't say anything. I was just posting and smiling and dancing. <laughs> and to go from that to like, <laughs> But yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really grateful. I'm holding my ring light. Let me stop. My wig and the wig ain't on. Life ain't together. You know, the usual. The usual. My goal is to make y'all feel good and to inspire. Maybe I'll inspire myself to do my hair. But oh, <laughs> talk to my, oh my gosh, it was really, really good actually. Send my dad a virtual birthday gift. Talk to my mom and my grandma, my whole family. I miss them. I'm going to see them soon. Met some really cool older people on the bridge. Don't matter that they was older, but I just like that I could vibe with everybody. And, you know, energy's energy. Went to church accidentally. I, not accidentally. I obviously went on purpose, but I kind of stayed for the service because it was really beautiful. And then got myself the chimney cake and right in the park and got home right before it rained. Caught 333 and 444 on the clock. Like, what a day. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm gonna edit and finish up this last season of Snowfall. I don't know, Snowfall a little intense. I like, let me stop on this real. I like storytelling and I like stories. Snowfall got like a lot for me. I'm still gonna finish it though. It's well written, it's just a lot. But you know what? Maybe that's just the gruesomeness of the world they're showing. Let's finish Snowfall. I'm on season six, episode seven. I'm going to finish that tonight. Huh. All right, I'll talk to y'all. Bye. Thank y'all for such a beautiful day. I do hope to bring good energy and beautiful days to other people as well because I missed it. Also, y'all got to excuse me because I still have depression and I know my depression it has been away, but I do think depression manifests itself in like, not in a good manifest either, but I think it shows up in different ways too. So sometimes I'll just be isolating and like tending to myself and it's like a, consider it like a self cleaning cleansing Clean, cleaning's weird self-cleansing feature where i just kind of isolate and have to like figure out how i'm thinking and feeling i realize i do that a lot and i really think that's been like a defense mechanism for my depression to keep it away of like okay like just you know don't get overstimulated you know or maybe i'm just a shit communicator i don't know i don't know maybe i just made that up maybe it's kind of accurate but i'll go into like super self-care mode and I'll shut down a lot of things around me, a lot of stimulation, a lot of conversations, and it'll just be me in the world. And I'll kind of have this moment in my little Steven Universe bubble and I'm like, what do you need? Speak to me, girlie, what you need? And yeah, and I feel like I'm back to myself. It's weird, I feel like I came out of a depressive episode that wasn't truly depressive. I can't explain it. And like my walls kind of came back down. So we been. I can't explain it because my mental health has been pretty decent. I think I just need to have that one-on-one -on -one with myself. And it was nice. Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Bro, like, <laughs> it's the mental and emotional instability for me. It's not bad. I promise it's not bad. I've got so much love today, y'all. 
And I feel like today I got back to myself. I already been feeling like I've been getting back to myself. I was having really cute days in Vienna. I was having super cute days in Asia. But today was full of so much love and I'm just really overwhelmed and I'm really grateful. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm not trying to make anybody uncomfortable, but I don't know. It was just a really wholesome day. It was so wholesome. I got love on YouTube comments. I was reading, you know, I was like, oh, that's a vibe. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, and then I talked to my mom and my grandma, and it was really nice to chat with them. And maybe I'm a little bit homesick, but everything I do is for myself and my family, and hopefully for the greater good of the world when I have more resources and means to do so. But yeah, and I talked to them. You know, I was talking to my dad for his birthday and stuff like that. And. <laughs> Um, I got a lot of love on the premium as well, and people were thanking me for the vibes and ignore that my laptop about to die. People were thanking me for the vibes, and I'm just really grateful. Oh my gosh! And I think I'm just having a moment where I'm really grateful.